Well, how you doing? Welcome once again to our online Sunday school. Today I want to ask you, I want to, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to show you a few characters and I want you to tell me which one you think most closely resembles an angel. All right, ready? What about this one? What do you think? How about this one? Or how about this one? What do you think? Which one clo most closely resembles an angel? Probably the one with the wings, right? This is kind of what we think about when we think about angels, right? Like something with, with wings, a heavenly being, not necessarily SpongeBob or Patrick, right? But a being with wings, right? What if I asked you, well, what about me? Am I an angel? You'd probably say, come on, Pastor, you're not an angel. Well, no, not, not, not a heavenly being that has wings, that is a special creation of God in that sense. No, not at all. But, you know what the word angel means? It means messenger. And the Bible uses the term angel occasionally for, 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 for those who proclaim the good news. That's what pastors do. So in a sense, you could say that I have that function as, as angel, messenger of what Christ brings. But then there are those angels, those, those heavenly beings with the wings that come. And in our gospel today, Mary is approached by the angel Gabriel. And yes, he's a real angel that came to Mary. And, and he told Mary some wonderful news, a wonderful message. See, he's a messenger too, these, these angels. They come to bring a message. And the, what's the message he brought to Mary? Well, he said that the Holy, the, the, the Holy Spirit would overshadow her. And that by the power of God, by the power of the Word of God, she would have Jesus. She, you see, she would be uh, have Jesus inside of her and give birth to the Christ child. That's what we celebrate at Christmas. And it's such wonderful good news because the birth of Jesus means forgiveness for us in heaven. Why? Because Jesus lived for us and, and he went where to pay for our sins? Where did he go? To the cross. That's right. And, and he didn't stay in that grave, did he? No, he rose after the third day from the dead. So, so forgiveness is ours for, for our sins, and heaven is ours. But it, it's so neat that it started with, with the angel Gabriel. Now, Gabriel probably didn't look like this, like a, like a fuzzy little bear with wings. You know, often angels looked a little bit, you know, uh, people were frightened. But this angel just came... Uh, you know, they're frightened because they're not, they're not used to seeing something like that, obviously, right? But the angels, this angel came with good news. And it's good news for us, too, as we get ready to celebrate Christmas. So now, watch the next video, all right? And Elizabeth is going to read the account of, from, from the Bible, from, from Luke, where we hear about the angel arriving and, ta and proclaiming this good news to Mary and, yes, to us. So we'll, we'll see you later, and the Lord be with you. Bye-bye.